welcome friends in this section of that video we will create uh, the web server and for this we will use virtual mean we will go into google and type virtual mean and go into virtual mean website and there take that download command and we will go to the our script folder and we will download the script and we will switch to the sudo mode and create the script executable Here, outside of that folder so inside and Install script is ready and we'll run our install script as install we'll hit yes we'll hit yes will download all the packages and install it we have nothing to worry about it it will create the lamp stack on that system and it will install apache and configure it it will install php and every other package which is required will take it will take some time to install so we will be right back when this installation is completed welcome friends our virtual means installation is completed and now we are trying to access this url to get access of virtual mean let's paste it in our url it's not working It's not redirecting because our IP is not whitelisted to access that 10,000 port in our security group. So we will get our IP as check IP, it's another Amazon service that we show your current IP and we will go to security group in our default security group we will add 10,000 port and our IP now we will select the server name colon and we will add https because virtual mean will not run this is a self signed certificate that's why it's showing as 
our web virtual main console is loaded so we have to provide the root password i have not set any root password for that instance let's set up root password for this instance password will be password that's too simple so we will use a complex password for this which we will using for our rds instance we are going to use that same password we have successfully added the password let's try to log in with that password we have successfully log in to that console now pre install post installation wizard is showing will configured the virtual main as we are required will not require of this service will not using mail so we will keep it no we will use our rds instance as for our database so we'll keep it as no we'll skip url check and set and this section is quite important because this is showing that how we how virtual mean will store the password if we store simple password plain text then we will recover the password from virtual mean if we lost the password if we save it and hash password then it may not be available to restore the password so i will keep is plain text for production environment it recommend that you will store the password as hash password we will click next we will not use quota post installation configuration is completed now it's time to create our first virtual server we'll create the same name for our virtual server we'll provide a administrator name for that server which will be we are going to install php my admin so that we can connect to that our rds instance so we will name the custom admin is php admin and we'll provide the same password for this instance and we'll wait create server
that our server is created but it will not load unless we are allow port 80 to accept the request we will again go to security group and click edit and select HTTP to everyone click save now we will come to that our EC2 instance and we will go to slash home there is php admin is created this home directory for that server and that home directory is created with that administrator name and inside that folder we will get public html where our site will be hosted for now i am creating a index html save and try to browse that our site is loading it's time to load php my admin so for this we will type php my admin and from download we will copy that link address and inside public html will download that php my admin php my admin down is downloaded yes unzip it It's unzip so simplify the name of that folder a bit so that it will be easier to remember for us PHP my admin copy that configuration file sample configuration and need to configure the php admin to access our rds instance and we will add our rds instance name section we'll save it and let's try to access 
access for php my admin this primarily our dc2 instance my url slash in my admin here our php my admin page is loaded to login let's copy our user username and rds master password And this is it. We have successfully logged into that instance. There is all the details is showing. What is our EC2 from our EC2 instance? We have successfully connected to our RDS. Our MariaDB version is 10.0.24, which is, which we select when we created that MariaDB instance our PHP version is 7.0.10 which is installed with virtual min and from left hand this is the all the database which is already created there is JS database nothing SQL database and there is lots of tables in here okay okay friends so we have successfully created our rds instance our we have configured our ec2 as a web server and we have hosted php my admin and successfully connected the rds instance from next a video i will demonstrate how to set up another website with wordpress in it and connect our rds instance with that wordpress so please subscribe that channel so that whenever I will update any content you will get notification and you will stay updated with that channel. Thank you.